Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be working with alignments and parcels in Civil 3D. So let's get started. In this exercise you'll create an alignment outside of a site and move existing alignments out of sites. These practices eliminate unwanted parcels being created by alignments interacting with the site. When an alignment is in a site it creates new parcels if it forms closed areas by crossing over itself or other alignments or parcels on the same site. Let's start by opening up your Parcel-1E drawing in your Tutorials folder. This drawing contains five roads off a main west-east road. The two northern side roads each of which created a parcel in the roadway and cul-de-sac center island. In the next few steps you will convert the center line of one of the southern side roads to an alignment and prevent it from forming parcels. In the tool space go ahead and click on the prospector tab. Go to your sites and expand the sites. Now let's check out the alignments. Notice that the four existing centerline alignments all reside in Site 1, while the top level, Alignments Collection, is empty. Go to the Home tab, and then under the Create Design panel, select the Alignment drop-down, and then create alignment from objects. And right now we're being prompted to select our first line in our command line. Go ahead and select the red center line for the road in the lower middle of the drawing. Then press enter twice. The create alignments from objects dialog box is displayed. And notice that by default the site is set to none. Go ahead and click OK. Expand the top level alignment section and notice that the new alignment was placed under the alignments collection. This happened because you accepted the default none site selection when you were prompted to select a site in step 3. In the next few steps you'll move one of the two existing cul-de-sac road alignments out of the existing site and into the top level alignments collection. In the tool space go ahead and select the prospector tab and right click on alignment 4 which is the cul-de-sac alignment to the northeast of the alignment you created. Click move to site. Now we're in the move to site dialog box Make sure the destination site is set to none and then click OK. Now notice in the tool space that alignment 4 has moved into the top level alignments collection. In the drawing window the parcel label and hatching has been removed from the cul-de-sac center island as you can see right here. For further clarification Go ahead and repeat the same step for Alignment 3. So that's how you go about working with alignments and parcels in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.